been a little while since I've done a rant on the channel. And who knew it took expend for balls, expendable fours for this to happen. Let's get the pleasantries out the way. Firstly, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I do want to thank you generally for taking your own time out to check out this video and review, but to be honest, it's going to be a rant on Expendables 4, Expend 4 Balls, Expending 4 Balls. I really don't know what they want to call this movie. So let's get into it. Directed by Scott Waugh, whose movies I have never seen, and it's starring basically a bunch of old actors coming back for a paycheck, including some young ones who also want to set paycheck. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all my awesome patrons who helped to really support the channel. If you want to join Patreon, shop merch, buy a copy of my debut book, you can find a link to that down below in the description box. And also, if you want to request a movie for me to watch, do have a link to my PayPal where you can request this to be watched as a short and reviewed with a shout out, or you can request a long form review with a shout out also, link down below in the description box. Only positive I've got for this, and I've really thought about this, and I struggled. I really, really did. Tony Jaa as like Deesha, very cool character. Like the look of the character. Probably has some of the best kills in the movie. The blood that is used here, when it is quite gruesome, is good. And that is about it. So with all that in mind, let's go absolutely straight to the negatives, which is everything else in this movie but let's highlight them all one at a time just for you lovely folks firstly the dialogue is as flat as my ass sat in that cinema seat for nearly two hours it is cringy it is corny the dialogue is absolutely terrible kind of how i think my reviews were when i first started the channel five years ago the acting here is absolutely awful i mean you've got Actors that are well established like Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren and many, many more. And even they feel as if they are tired and they showed up to set and thought, fuck me, when is this going to end? The CGI. Now you guys may give me a lot of jip here when I watch Asylum movies and the CG effects is awful. But at the end of the day, them studios have absolutely no budget. This movie has no excuse for the CGI where you don't even see an item hit the water. That's how bad this movie looks. They literally, 99% of this movie, although I don't doubt that some of this was maybe not shot on location, looks as if they are stood in front of a blue screen screen. It is absolutely abysmal. And what makes this worse is this movie is coming out now in 2023. This should have been a movie that came out in the early 2000s effects wise. Have we really gone back in time with CGI to present day? I really don't know. This movie frustrated the living hell out of me. I wanted to enjoy it. I wanted to switch my brain off. I just wanted to have a dumb, good, fun time and think, you know, that wasn't too bad. Would I revisit it again? Maybe not. But at least I can just say I had an enjoyable time. But Aiko Ueyes, who is a great actor, is absolutely relegated to the villain role. But I will say a pat on the back for Aiko Ueyes for taking the villain role. Because originally they wanted Jack Nicholson to play the villain. Jack, thank you my man for not taking this movie. Please stay retired and honour your legacy. You do not need this shit to really dampen your return. Yes, sir, please stay retired and enjoy your retirement. I'm going to go into a big spoiler here. So if you don't want to hear the spoiler, maybe skip like 10, 20 seconds or so. But Sylvester Stallone openly has said this is the last time he wants to play the character Barney, right? They kill him off in about 20 minutes of this movie. And I thought, wow, that is a very bold move to make. No, only for him to return at the end, although he has said he wants this to be the last every time he plays this character. Whose dumb decision was it to have him brought back in the end for him to then not going to be appearing in more expendable movies 
it, they make more expendable movies. Heck, what is probably even the worst news of this movie and going forward is this apparently wants to be the first of a new trilogy. <sighs> the final kind of comment I want to make here is Megan Fox and Jason Statham have a love relationship in this movie. Their chemistry on screen goes as well as watching paint dry. It's flat out fucking awful, guys. So my overall score for the Expendables, Expend 4 Bulls, is a 1 out of 5. Have you put yourself through the pain of checking out this movie? Are you even going to watch this movie well, I want to hear from your guys' thoughts because your guys is most important and I'd love to continue the discussion down below in the comment section. Am I the only one who hates this movie? Yeah, I would love to know. But either way, guys, thank you for tuning in. I don't usually go on a rant video, but I had to get out my thoughts and I feel a hell of a lot better. And please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below on your way out. And until next time, I'll see you. I'll be seeing you later.